if you recall uh, back in uh, 2018 uh, Eminem, uh, Shane, and Kelly uh, have been uh, throwing uh, jabs at each other, uh, and that uh, all started uh, back when, uh, way a couple of years ago, when uh, Colson Baker, known as a hip hop artist uh, and punk rock uh, singer, Machine Gun Kelly. He made a tweet uh, on Twitter about uh, Eminem's uh, daughter, Haley Mathers, and calling her her effing hot and uh, talking, which is basically talking about her very sexually. And, and if you then, oh, his. Eminem's daughter it looks pretty. That would have been a pass, but uh, he just really called that Colson. He was 21, 22 years old at the time, and uh, Haley was uh, 16 years old at the time, which is uh, pretty creepy. Uh, and um, anyone who is above age uh, who said that of a minor, that's uh, literally just you would be called out as like a pedophile. And then I mean, I found out about it and then there's also this uh, situation where uh, Machine Gun Kelly uh, got uh, removed from uh, Eminem is a radio shade forty five in which uh he actually has talked about this uh on uh the breakfast club and then what uh, what triggered it was actually a uh, well, he literally, uh, Machine Gun Kelly literally went around uh, talking about uh, Eminem's daughter here and there, and then after talking about her very sexually, and then he think, no, I said she was pretty, and but everyone knows that's not true. And then early 2018, uh, he uh, was on uh, Tech Nine's uh, No Reason Mosh Pit song uh, with uh, alongside uh, K2 and. He said some things about he did sneak this and then Eminem fired back on uh, not like uh, with the Royce the Five Nine, which was a hardcore best uh, diss track uh, um, against Michigan Kelly, which a lot of people said no, nah, that was enough. To, After Machine Gun Kelly uh, released uh, Rap Devil, which uh, basically was a music video with uh, he was like it was basically like a love, I love you, I hate you song. It wasn't even a diss, but people were saying, "Ooh, bars," and uh, the chorus was a uh, auto tune, and then Eminem fired back with the uh, kill shot, and that was just. End of the the line. Machine Gun Kelly tried to fire back on uh, his uh, album uh, Thirteen Hotel Diablo and uh, thir or Thirteen, but that wasn't enough, and Eminem just uh, did some shots back on. Uh, Music to be murdered by side A, side B. On uh, some tracks here and there. And that was the last of it. So, Machine Gun Kelly, he was very successful uh, in, uh, in the punk rock uh, after switching as he was uh, kicked out. And he was a uh, 
and could make songs with uh, Blink-182 uh, drummer uh, Travis Barker, and then also uh, he made songs with Avril Lavigne. Jaden Hostler. British uh, uh, rock uh, artist uh, Youngblood. Bring Me to Your Horizon and uh, Black Bear and some other artists uh, here and there. But he also uh, got into fights with, uh, again, Corey Taylor of uh, Sn Slipknot, bad move. And now, uh, Michigan Kelly tried to uh, do some rap songs here and there, and uh, he decided to finally take shots at Eminem again. And uh, he uh, decided to collaborate with uh, another uh, person who uh, criticized uh, Emin Eminem's uh, songs uh, on his uh, album that was released in 2017. Revival, which people rated it one of Eminem's worst albums uh, because uh, it had some, some political songs here and there. But uh, but Marshall, he was uh, supporting the African American uh, here and there, and uh, also some good message in here. They're also collaborating with uh, Beyonce on uh, "Walk on the Water." But just because it doesn't seem uh, very, uh, it didn't strike uh, as hard as uh, Eminem's previous albums, uh, people uh, were criticizing the album, like, oh, you suck, and instead of actually listening to the uh, meaning of the songs, uh, and nowadays hip-hop artists, uh, they're just, uh, they listen to the producer, like, oh, the catchy hook, and uh, people were so focused on that, and, and instead of, like, how much effort did you actually put in the song, like as a singer-songwriter? Did you write the, your songs? So the person uh, who also created, criticized the uh, revival was Detroit rapper T Grizzly. Now Eminem and T Grizzly being two uh, Detroit rappers and uh, everyone knows that uh, don't, don't insult uh, the Detroit uh, rapper because New York rappers uh, they also have this uh, thing little pep going and then uh, Compton uh, hip hop artists uh, have their thing Long Beach artists have their thing L A has their thing. And then East Coast, uh, Atlantic, they have their thing. But when the people, uh, artists uh, from uh, outside their little uh, groups uh, collaborate with each other, sometimes uh, a little beef uh, can gets involved. And if you have uh, listened to uh, all the hip hop uh, back in like the two th early 2000s and 1990s, you would know that. And how uh, M Eminem and uh, people who are musicians uh, from the New York area have uh, gotten into little beefs that turned into a big beef label fights. And let's just say it didn't uh, go well for the people who decided to try to pick a fight. And they have not been the same, like Ja Rule. That involved the 50 Cent. The T Grizzly uh, criticized uh, the Red Bible album and uh, 
Of course, uh, I'm, I'm gonna struck back, uh, by committing to be murdered by... And also, uh, Kamikaze did that before. Big Sean, a Detroit rapper, he uh, released his uh, Detroit 2 album, and, uh, It was that Friday night uh, cipher. It was that was the only song where both uh, T Grizzly and uh, Eminem were on it. M goes last. So that was the only time they actually end up meeting. And there was no issues until this. this they decided to uh, turn the tables, and uh, T Grizzly decided to. Side with the uh, Eminem hater, Machine Gun Kelly. And no, this is not a Machine Gun Kelly song. This is like uh, off uh, T Gri Grizzly's uh, song, off his uh, his label Grizzly Gang Three Hundred uh, Entertainment uh, label, uh, which uh, his album is uh, the sixteen track album. Uh, He's a Coney Island, uh, which is a tribute to the Detroit Niner Coney Island. So the song is called The Sopranos, uh, which uh, features Machine Gun Kelly. So apparently the music video was shot in Detroit. Yet, if you uh, haven't have an issue with a Detroit artist that uh, you cannot perform in Detroit as uh, hip hop artist uh, Trick Trick uh, who has uh, formed his uh, little triangle which uh, Anyone who uh, has an issue with uh, Detroit uh, artist uh, or has no respect for a uh, Detroit artist that uh, they cannot perform in Detroit. And that's what, and just uh, you should hear back what uh, happened to Rick Ross when he tried to perform in uh, Detroit. So actually, the. The Sopranos uh, song was actually uh, recorded in Cleveland, which is uh, Colson's uh, hometown. So, so apparently, uh, Machine Gun County raps, I love the kids, I'll the fire, let's throw it, can't say shit. That's what I'm in Detroit, you don't know what the fuck I meant, ho. And after uh, if uh, Machine Gun Kelly was actually caught in Detroit, uh, Trick Rick would, uh, he has connections and uh, Detroit, as you know, they have their uh, group of people that is unlike uh, the New York uh, group of uh, hip hop artists and uh, Compton, Long Beach, and LA. So, if uh, Machine Gun Kelly was even caught in Detroit, people would be like, boo, uh, F you, and then uh, they'll be playing Kill Shot and, or not alike. Uh, or he would be, get pelted with a whole bunch of insults. Because uh, you don't uh, hear Eminem, uh, Marshall Mathers, uh, talk about MGK, Golson uh, Baker's uh, kid, Casey Baker. And you don't really hear stuff about uh, Casey Baker because uh, 
depends on uh, how uh, Machine Gun Kelly is uh, raising uh, KC and whether she goes to public school, private school, or or is, it, is she just uh, following uh, Daddy around uh, while he uh, dates uh, Megan Fox and or goes here and there? Uh, or does she, she get uh, education online? Because we don't really hear about her and we don't need to hear about her. Yet people are always uh, following uh, Eminem's kid, Haley Mathers. And remember, Eminem uh, keeps uh, his uh, biological daughter, Haley, and uh, his uh, adopted kid, uh, daughters, away from the spotlight. And recently, uh, Eminem's uh, daughter, uh, Haley, uh, she uh, was prom queen at uh, the university she uh, went to, and uh, everyone who had like a proud parent uh, would go to the, the college or university to uh, congratulate their kid. Uh, if parents are allowed uh, or guardians are allowed to go in and congratulate their kid, see them walk on stage, get the photo taken, and then go and meet mommy or daddy or whoever, whoever the guardian is. But unfortunately, you know, Eminem's uh, famous. Uh, not just in the uh, USA and or Canada, but he's famous worldwide and his big influence. Though he had to stay in a classroom. While well, it's all being being recorded and he's uh, seeing it through a webcam. So he couldn't uh, just uh, go in the same uh, auditorium where everything is all happening and go up and hug his daughter, shake hands, take a photo, a photo with her. Because uh, people will uh, instead turn the camera on uh, him instead of uh, it's the, his daughter's moment. And regarding uh, Eminem, he is a big influence to a lot of other people. So while uh, people in USA that has been trashing on him uh, just, just because he didn't sound like the same Eminem they used to know many years ago, he opened the door for uh, a lot of people, not just in USA or Canada, but also you're in Europe, Asia, and Africa, Pacific Coast, South America. Because you will hear like people in uh, England, uh, these African British uh, artists, uh, they used to try to copy the style of uh, artists over in the USA. Idris Elba, who is an act, as you know, actor, hip hop artist, and uh, DJ, he had said that hip hop artists uh, over, over in uh, England used to uh, imitate the styles of USA, but now they started to uh, do, create their own style and their own individuality. Now, how do you expect uh, Korean uh, hip hop artists uh, to suddenly just they got influence from a little somebody. Eminem is allowed over there. And if you ask a person uh, in Europe or Asia or Africa who their favorite hip hop artist is, they will probably name someone local or they will name mention Eminem. They will have never heard of uh, Benzino, Ja Rule, uh, Everlast. Uh, 
Melly Mel, Machine Gun Kelly, Nick Cannon, until those people decided to diss Eminem and Eminem shot back. Think about it. Those people might be only known in USA, but somebody influenced them to start their own path. Might as well give their respect to the GOAT, Eminem, for start influencing so many people worldwide.